Okay, here we are again with the the character set up for Unreal Tournament 3. Uh, as you can see, yet again, one of my fantastic models. Yeah, I can hear you all laughing in the background there. Right, okay. The main thing that you've got to look at, or remember, when you're doing character models for Unreal Tournament, is, of course, and I keep on going on about this, and I'll keep on going on about it until we get into Unreal Tournament 4, which then might be different is the UV setup. Okay, I'm j as you can see, it's, I've already skinned this lot, so I'll just put this on top. Now, as you can see, the regions. I, I keep on going on about it. I'll just show the the texture that I've got here, and it's the one that's available on my website. The texture regions are the UV W layouts. Very important when using a multi-part character. Uh, we'll get on to ways around it later in another video, but to maintain the system that Unreal, uh, Epic has set up for Unreal Tournament 3, it is very important that you use these layouts. As you can see, I've named them all. So you've got the torso region, pads region, arms, boots, legs. Now, in this character, as you can see from the the pretty picture here, is all set out because obviously different colours. Uh, I've made made a point of doing this correct. As you can see, the head's slightly different. Now, if I uh, just bend that out of the way, now I probably can't select the head at the moment because, well, not directly anyway. Uh, there you can see it highlighted in in the background there. I'll just put a UV modifier on here. There you go. Oh, right, what one is it? As you can see, it's a fantastic mesh. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's, it's just basically a placeholder because I'm too lazy and I'm absolutely crap at modelling certain things. And one of them's being characters. Now, as you can see, this is the head region. You've got the helmet region face mask region, goggles, neck. Now you use this neck region for using the neck stump, as far as I know. Okay, I might be wrong, but that, that's the way I look at it. So please use that, that area for the neck stump. Okay, now obviously you've got the two eyes, your mouth region, and your neck cut region. Okay, so the bit underneath when you take the head off, if you just put it there, it'll do fine. There's this region here called the, the chest female region. Now, I've noticed on one or two of the characters, mainly the Necris characters, they've actually used this region as well. Now, how they get round that, I'm not 100%, but I'll just leave that empty for the moment, or if you find a way to use it, then go for it. Okay, just remember, make sure you keep within these regions. Because if you don't, you'll get a load of black areas on your mesh. And, well, you, you won't see it in the selection page when you select your, your custom customised character. But when you actually go into the game, that's when you see it. Now, it's all dealt with in the code. Very difficult to change, and I would advise... For any beginner not to even attempt it. So just keep within these regions. They're actually quite big enough, to be very honest, to uh, get a very good texture and normal maps and all the rest of it. So just keep to those regions. Right, let's just get rid of this. Uh, obviously, we'll just go for the torso here at the moment. You'll see these little bits down here. These are something that we're going to get into a little bit later, but, well, okay, I'll, I'll burble on a little bit about them now. Okay, as you can see, I've named these, if you look up here, B, left side, 0, 2, uh, it's not selecting it, there you go, 0, 1, keep clicking, 0, 3, and 0, 4. Okay, now on the other side, I haven't actually mirrored these very well, but 
you'll see in there B right side 0 1 B right side 0 2 B right side oh, no there we go right side 0 3 and 0 4 okay now what they're for is that when we get a bit further into the tutorials we're actually going to make well this is part of the cost the the modified rig I'm not going to say custom rig because as you'll see if I unhide everything come on here we go unhide all all right go up onto the hierarchy select objects now as you can see this is the epic rig okay you've got your your B roots your B well your B bones as we've started calling them then you've got your bit bones all right there from the bi biped yeah now it's why they've done it this way I'm not 100% you'd have to ask Epi on that but I think the reason why they've used the biped okay now let's just select the biped go into the movements the motions panel and if you look at here you can load a file what that file goes into is the bips okay it's a biped motion files now that way it it makes things very easy to to move record transpose put onto others the actual motions we'll, we'll do that on a late, later video it's just so that you know that's there why it's possibly there uh, before we do do any more go any further let's click back onto this and see what we've skinned it to now as you can see these are all skinned to the B bones okay the B bones they're not actually bones these are all to be very honest max objects now if you watched any of my other videos you'll know you will keep on hearing me go on go on about max objects now, a max object is let's see there we go there's a max object it's a box okay let's just get rid of that because it will cause problems all right that's all it is and all they do is they make them the shape they want link them all together and in this case they've constrained them okay this I'm not very good at this so uh, let's see if I can uh, it's not going to let me select one of them let, let me go let's see if I can let's see go on go on which one we're gonna go for left leg right now you can't see it because it's hidden within there we go nicely highlighted there's one down here notice it's not exactly uh, named the way you would have thought okay now I would have called it left shin bone or, or something like that they've called it left leg and the bottom one left ankle why well who knows because we don't all right now if you go into motions you'll see position constraints okay and it's constrained to the target of the the bip zero one left calf okay now that is that one there okay you see it and you see that's got the actual animation on it I'll just wiggle it about a bit we there we go all right so the B bones have got no animation on it but because the B bones are constrained to the bit bones that's how they get away with that okay it just makes things a lot easier well I think to to get animations into the biped rig and then just export them via the mesh and actor X okay because that, that way you, you don't well some people like don't like using the biped system obviously epic do I quite like it and like I say we'll go on to it a bit further in a later video now just remember these these extra little bones I've put in okay they're just linked together I'll show you I keep get going from one side to another I know but as you can see the linked four to three to two to one and then to the B spine okay now I could have linked it to the hips but because my I want it to move with the with the torso 
Uh, I might have to change it later, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. But they're just straight linked in there, and what we'll do later is actually make a master rig, a physics asset, and hopefully we'll get these working actually in game so you see them flapping about and all the rest of it anyway all right let's let's get back to the main th part of this video okay we've done the UVs it's been skinned now I'm not going to tell you show you how to skin things you should have learned that all by now the things you want to watch out for all right we're going to exp that's all done so we're going to export it copy the name as you can see the naming convention epics naming convention sk skeletal mesh ch character geo guy that's me and torso for the torso torso mesh over to the tools pick on app to get app to x now guess what i was doing the last time okay all right just paste that name in there we don't need we don't need any of this at the moment and now this is where it does get important to make sure your settings are correct okay skin types all selected bake smooth groups call unused dummies okay very important save yep yeah. okay fine thank you yes jobs are good un. okay next thing all right let's uh let me just clear this up a little bit because it's looking a little bit untidy right, I'm just going to select my me meshes invert the selection so I've got all the bones selected as you can see lots of animals on there and just hide them get them out of the way now obviously I'm not going to go through and do every one a pair of boots yes thank you a pair of thighs yes thank you arms face mask helmet goggle no select the head there goggles helmet and head okay there that's all the parts you require apart from what have I left out yes the shoulder pads the shoulder pads are a little bit quirky okay what you've got to watch with the shoulder pads to get them working in the game is the naming okay so uh, skeletal mesh ch for the character your character's name and then l for left show pad zero one okay this is going to be the first one well the, in my case the only ones are going to be but if you're going to do more obviously it'll be then zero two zero three all right so we'll just do that one copy paste save yeah thank you thank you thank you now that was the left one okay we're looking at the front so army left there we go the right one now see the difference not much but ah show pad zero one uh, I don't know why it's so quirky but if you don't name them correctly they won't get called into the game now I've done that wrong yet again. I should should be pasting, not copying. Okay, copy. Select the whole lot. Paste. There we go. Okay. Now that is something to watch. I've noticed people make the make the mistake, and you really, really do need to be careful of that. Okay. And the last thing. Let's see if I've actually got it on this model. There we go. Next stump. I'll unhide everything that is not selected. Uh, there we go. Now done that wrong. And go hide unselected. Now, as you can see here, the next stump is uh, yeah. Okay, that's a really good next stump. That. Now this is used. Okay, if you're using a full helmet. Okay, you want to get rid of the head because you can't see it and imagine a full full face helmet on a motorbike you just need the neck area now this actually might work I was thinking about it the other day because somebody mentioned it to me 
Now it might work using this trick on the PS3 all right, to get p different heads but obviously you'd have to put the head texture into the helmet region but we can try that another day uh, I've not tried it myself so we'll just leave it at that but what you the reason why I make a point of this is that when you're doing a custom character and for whatever reason you want to use a neck stump yeah a few times I've found that if you use one of the the epic neck stumps it won't load properly and you won't get the helmet or the other head or whatever okay so just me it's it's basically just a cut off bit of the head let's just show I'll just slap another UV map over the top of it because we're just going to have a look see there it is down in the neck region the head stump okay just get rid of that because we don't need it just select the name copy it off we go paste it in there save it yeah 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 now before anybody even thinks about trying to do a fast job look at all the bones that I've added okay just to be on the safe side add I mean you're only going to skin let's just let's just go have a look okay you're only gonna skin these and to, to the neck bone or the the top of the spot the B spine and the head All right, they're the only ones you're going to use but make sure in your skin modifier you've added all the bones okay this just saves for any possible problems later on you having to come back okay now let's be honest let's say unhide by name because I don't want all the, the junk in there Let's select those ones unhide there we go as you can see, see the heads up there yeah uh, there we go everything showing now a very simple mesh I will one, once we've got everything in game and up and running I made sure I haven't made any boo-boos I'll release this mesh although you don't really need it but give you an idea the way I've set up things like the the bones for these cloth areas yeah you know, and well that's about it for now if there's a, if you need any more hints and tips on exporting a multi-part character okay don't forget if you just want say like a new set of pads then fine just do the new set of pads if you want a new helmet just do the new helmet uh, put them in a package and we'll go on later on doing the any files and uh, package making and all the rest of it but for exporting that's all that's all you really need to know okay then Alright, see you in the next one soon.